Hey everyone, Tony Moore here at the Creative Arts and Lifestyle Awards, and I am here with the one and only from RuPaul's Drag Race season 13, Got Mick. How are you, doll? So good. I mean, it's a little early for me. We already talked about it, but I'm here. <laughs> well, listen, they, look, they got the doll up in the gig early in the morning to present here. <laughs> yes, I mean, I love any sort of Emmys, and I'm so honored to be here. I'm presenting tonight with Dominique Jackson, and I feel like it was anyone else, I probably wouldn't be up in Guiche this early. <laughs> I'm obsessed with her, so I'm super excited. I love that. Now, how important is is representation here? Because, you know, with the with the rise of RuPaul's Drag Race and polls, as you say, you're um, presenting with Dominique Jackson, how does it feel to be a representation here at the Emmys? It feels like truly a dream come true. I feel like I wish I got to look at the Emmys and see trans guys in drag presenting and accepting awards all the time. RuPaul was so amazing to let me and Simone accept with her at the Emmys a few years ago and now I'm here presenting with one of my trans idols, Dominique Jackson. So it's just like the craziest, most unbelievable full circle moment ever in my life. And I know for you, um, it's definitely been a journey for you. And then with the with the popularity of Drag Race, like how has Drag Race impacted you and your ability to impact others? I mean, Drag Race gave me the platform that a platform beyond what I could have ever imagined, and I took it and. Thank God I realized that platform was major at a really early fast state, right the second I finished. And I ran with it and I've been able to write a book about my experience. I've been able to be on amazing documentaries like The Book of Queer, which Dominique was actually on with me. And just like really share my story as much as possible. And I've learned that even it makes me uncomfortable sometimes, it's a little iffy to talk about. I'm like, you don't know who you're helping and that's so important. So. It's just made me an open book, I guess, to a crazy extreme. Like, maybe I need to reel it in sometimes, but you never know. No, not at all. Never reel it in. Always just keep it going. Just give more and more and more. Yeah, no <laughs> privacy. Just always out there. <laughs> just always out there. Well, God, Mick, I appreciate you. You know, I absolutely adore you. Yeah, I, and thank you for your journey. And thank you for sharing that journey with us because you have truly been an inspiration to so many people. So thank you for that. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, I love you. All right, we'll see you guys here for more at the Creative Arts and Lifestyle Emmys. Thank you. <laughs>